Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for September and see what's going to be happening in your life, all right? Check out your more than just your one zodiac sign, Sagittarius. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign. And let's begin your tarot reading here today, Sagittarius. See what's going to be happening for you, all right? What predictions can we be making for you today, Saggy? Four of Pentacles. All right, starting out your energy strong here. I see you doing good investments here, uh, Sagittarius, which investment seems to be seems to be really good in general for people. Just as a side note, I've been noticing with the energy, Sagittarius, all right? But you right now, right? You are the main character here, Sagittarius, all right? You guys have been putting in a lot of work on things right you might have started working on yourself what is it that you've been doing right because it's like you've been doing a plan here maybe you've been researching maybe you've been gathering data or something like you have like a plan here Sagittarius and it's like if only people knew or had the vision that you have currently then it would be like I feel like they would just be like mind blown here all right you guys are planning something and I'm genuinely curious here about what it is all right even in the back of the deck energy for you Sagittarius you have the world card coming in all right the world card is the final card in the major arcana so it's like whatever you're planning is like you're close it's like coming to a completion with one chapter or one storyline of your life Sagittarius and then beginning something completely new it's like something dramatic is going to be happening in your life I don't know and this is something in a good way like I hope you don't take like this as like something as ominous here Sagittarius like I'm really optimistic about just like how I'm inherently feeling this energy here but it's like there's something that you are planning there's something that you are personally doing that I don't feel like is like outwardly like people are aware of and it's like, I feel like there's going to be like a completion moment where it comes to light. And then once it's seen, then it's just like, holy crap, the change has been done. The change is completed. But yeah, Ace of Swords energy here. Continue doing what it is that you've been doing, Sagittarius. I don't know what this is about. It's not my business. You don't need to be sharing it if you don't want to, Sagittarius, right? Because I do understand, I can respect the privacy and like you not wanting to speak out about it until it's out there for the world to see. But it's like, you, whatever, I just want to say, Sagittarius, like whatever it is you're thinking about, whatever it is that you're planning, it's not a waste of time it is making an impact energetically on the world around you and like what it's shaping up to be for your future here especially if you've been, if you've been researching if especially it's like the sense of like gathering or just preparing i don't know let's continue Mm -mm. judgment energy what do i say with this here sagittarius it's like judgment day is coming here there's something that there's something it's not negative i want to stress this enough here sagittarius but there's seemingly it speaks about some big event happening in your life here in the coming days all right and i feel like you are the one that's in response like is responsible for this because even was like i you might have even noticed my regular sagittarians where like i started your reading and i was speaking pretty quietly like i tapped into your energy and it's like i felt the need to whisper and it's like i feel like you're pr planning something and when judgment day hits it's going to pay off big time so whatever it is that you have been working on sagittarius keep on doing the work because it's major we're going to continue unpacking this energy here because it's like whatever big event is about to be going down in your life sagittarius you're gonna want to have the information towards it first card that fell out two of pentacles coming in under this four of pentacles all right this reads off to me sagittarius uh, multiple things more than one thing that you're juggling with it might be like you're having a lot of moving parts that are happening i actually feel like it's going to be more than one big event or it's just like one big event but then it also changes other facets of your life it's like you launch something and then after you launch something i feel like the other pentacle that you're balancing is like something you kind of planned on right i feel like it's in your awareness i don't feel like it catches you by surprise i could be wrong when i pull more cards but it's like one big event happens so it's like all right you you launch a project and from you being able to launch that project it becomes successful and then from that success you're able to you know something else opens up or you know opportunity you get what i mean as an analogy here the second card i don't even know how this came out 
Uh, I guess I'll just have to see when I'm editing how that Hierophant came out here, but I'll take it. All right, you have the Hierophant coming in under that Ace of Swords. So whatever ideas that you are having, pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to your dreams right now, Sagittarius, all right? Because that higher, especially your dreams and just intuit, intuitive messages, spiritual messages, it could be repetitive numbers, could be animals or bugs or what have you. But because I say this because the Hierophant has like, is like the uh, male counterpart essentially to the Hierophant priestess still having that connection to the divine all right the hierophant also represents the sense of where there's so much more than just beneath the surface there's like it represents depth it's known as the card of marriage uh sagittarius all right so you take that sense of devoted energy or is that energy that's going to be for like and i guess i i guess in most people's intentions for like a lifetime right and it's like when you associate that energy with that and not just make it about like marriage in like in an intimate way like that it's just the ideas that are going to set you up for like you know for the foreseeable future for the lifetime do you understand that correlation there i sometimes worry sagittarius when it comes because i speak better in analogies when i'm doing tarot readings so it's better so it's easier for people to understand how the puzzle comes together and how you relate it to your life and you fill in the blanks the subjects and the nouns and the adjectives right um but i sometimes i worry if it confuses let me know if it does <clears throat> queen of wands on this judgment energy this is confirming why i feel like you're in the one that's in control about it here sagittarius so it may not be this sense of where it's like you're pulling a lever and it's like everything happens at once right but it's through like it's through something that you are actively putting energy into something that you are doing that you are involved with that gets the judgment day to happen does that make sense all right the queen of wands is someone that is following in their passion she has a plan she has a vision that no one else understands and they only understand it when she finishes her journey and she sits on her throne right and so that's why i feel like you're the one in control of it especially with this wands energy here i'm noticing a lot of passion associated with this here i feel like whatever this big event happens is something that excites you sagittarius all right i feel like this is something that you have put in the work for this i get like i was just shown like a little girl and while i don't like to associate genders with anything because i know like people of all genders watch me um i was just i'll just show what i speak on what i was just shown uh, is like a little girl where it's like she has like a like a vision board and it's like what she planned on what she saw for herself when she was like a little kid like she saw herself being like a nurse and so she had like a vision board with like a hat and you know she played she went to uh, dressed up as a nurse's halloween when she was a little kid and she now is like walk like this is like you finally finishing your certificate to be a nurse walking the stage and no one else was privy to like how this was like a childhood dream of yours all right so obviously don't get lost on the gender darling all right i understand it might be triggering for some but i just want to share the message in the most authentic way without filtering it down because sometimes i feel like when it comes to be trying to be too pc um it takes away like this spiritual significance of what it could be for someone so i don't want to make it about myself and worrying about um how something is gonna come off as so um forgive me though anyways let's continue on here sagittarius right let's start expounding on this a little bit more what can we be expecting what details five of swords here under the two of pentacles and four of pentacles so this has been well let's get one more for this five of swords what is this associated with Let's get the detail. Page of Swords. <sighs> and then the King of Swords. Okay. So I will say, Sagittarius, it feels like you've been dealing with some energies of like miscommunication, misunderstandings, or just like dealing with straight up immature people. All right. And I feel like I don't really feel like there's much to really unpack with this other than just acknowledging it for what it is, Sagittarius. Like, I feel like you're hearing this message and seeing these cards and getting just like your own personal satisfaction. It's like I'm tapping into like a situation that's like the person itself that is involved or the persons like the family or friend group or whatever is completely irrelevant in your life. So I don't like that's why I'm so flippant about this energy. I'm like, I don't want to unpack this too much. But it's like the sense of just acknowledging Sagittarius of like 
it's like someone came at you with some BS and while you're already dealing with so much in your life. And so it's like, I feel like there's some type of dismissiveness or some type of you had to just like walk away. Like something happened. I don't know. We don't need to figure out the action of it. Something, some type of unpleasant social interaction happened. And there's just like that message there from spirit saying, it's just like, you are the one that's in the right here. Like it's just completely immature communication from the other side here. And yeah, like nothing really else else to really unpack with that so just leave that there Sagittarius because whoever this energy is whatever it is they're going to just continue watching as you thrive here like they're just they're so irrelevant in the coming days for you your life is just going to be so busy with handling your own things like they just do not matter all right seven of swords coming in here ace of swords with this hierophant energy here Sagittarius I will say I will be saying like this is really representing like I feel like at this point, how how much effort has been, how, again, really, I said it before, I believe earlier, but I feel like you put in so much blood, sweat, and tears for like this certain accomplishment that's coming for you in the coming days. Like, I can't stress it enough here, Sagittarius, where it's just, it gives me like this impression here of like how much, like all the, like, it sounds corny, but it's like all, you had so many odds against you. It's like your whole life set you up to fail, but you still rose. It's like you grew up in a family that didn't set you up right. And you, you know, you couldn't really go to school or afford anything. So it's like you still made it through all these things that would keep a lesser person down and stuck in their situation, stuck in their environments. And you still saw through like a vision that you had since you were a little kid to be at a certain point in your life. And you're about to reach that accomplishment. That's how I see this energy as personally here. And it's something that it's like everyone doubted you. Perhaps no one saw this, like respected you for the respect that you deserve. I get that's that might be what this energy is. This impression is where it's just like no one is uh, aware about what it is that you're working on. It's more so maybe they doubted you, but they it was a mistake that they doubted you, darling, because Queen of Wands judgment energy with this Knight of Cups. And one note of this message here, Sagittarius, I will be saying, I don't be, I won't be surprised if you notice um, some people that you haven't communicated with in some time reaching back out to you once like that judgment day happens, once certain like things start finally working out for you. I do get like the, the reappearance of some people trying that you haven't communicated with in a while. And I'm not here to tell you how to live your life and how to handle them, but you know, um, do what you need to just be prepared for it. But I will also be saying the Knight of Cups more so outside of the personal uh, social way and the knight of cups represents opportunities coming and being given to you really enhancing the sense of like all you need to do is this queen of wands is continue on in your journey here all right spirit has your back spirit the knight of cups is going to find its way to you all right they'll catch up to you and give you that blessing you just need to continue pushing forward sagittarius all right that's the main message that i get with that is to like keep pushing through right now don't worry about how we're going to get that knight of cups blessing through uh, just trust that we will get it through don't worry about the details don't worry about the noise that are happening around you don't entertain that keep a laser focused in what it is that you're trying to accomplish and know that you are going to be accomplishing it soon all right remember the vision that you've had for yourself when you were a little kid about how you envisioned your life now all right and even in the future stay the course here so just here stay the course because you're really about to be having a very pivotal uh, accomplishment in your life here soon as long as you stay the course so let's see if there's anything else that needs to be said here seven of wands and then the queen of swords queen of pentacles all right this three this is a trio that wanted to just come out on its own and i will just say this sagittarius it continues speaking to me about like outside connections being wary about them seven of wands it's like and I, it sounds such a like a corny thing like because i don't really like entertaining like being like oh you got haters around you duh, duh, duh. it's like girl i stay in my house what haters right but it's like it keeps on stressing with the seven of wands this queen of swords here is where it's like spirit is really stressing the sense of just putting up some strong boundaries because it's like you're going to be dealing with some selfish energies queen of pentacles right dealing with some selfish energies that you want to respond with queen of swords with those boundaries all right because it's just like and it's like multiple hands like multiple people Sagittarius are like trying to like uh, you know for that handout and even still making all this about interpersonal interpersonal stuff here Sagittarius all right the queen of pentacles would be reading this off as is like where it's like it's time for you to be selfish 
Sagittarius with your time and energy. All right. It's time for you to prioritize yourself first, put up the boundaries, you know, no longer constantly answer your phone to people that don't really understand or respect your schedule. All right. Because things are moving. Uh, Eight of Wands, Sagittarius. Things are moving. Eight of Wands is a card to travel. It's a card to quick success. Things are moving in your life and people have to respect and understand that, that you're not going to be as available as, as available as you once were to certain people anymore. All right. Because I do see like this sense of bittersweetness where it's like you're having to walk away from a situation where it's like your your life your reality changes in such a great way where it's just like you have to leave things in the past because of something really positive in the future to a cups here so it's like there is this bittersweetness where it's like so much movement is happening in your life that some things have ooh, <laughs> not me getting too passionate with my hands here but it is like that sun sagittarius where it's like some things have to give while others while like new things take right because six of swords energy i'm just drawing from the back of the deck here saji um six of swords energy yeah again that bittersweetness there is a sense of travel this sense of movement this sense of disconnect that you're going to be experiencing here sagittarius and then afterwards ten of pentacles chariot energy here afterwards and then the eight of <laughs> pentacles here i'm gonna stop after this here sagittarius knight of swords by the way here and then the hanged man all right like the story writes it itself here Sagittarius the story writes itself I say that was the last one I pull three more here but I'm just so passionate about this for you Sagittarius because it's like when the cards are acting like this where it's literally just unveiling an entire story like a book I know I made the connection so I want to take as much advantage of the energy that it is so this is just going to be a little bit of a longer video and I ain't going to apologize for it right so let's talk about this here right you're going to have to watch this back a few times probably as well <laughs> just a heads up ten of pentacles here right ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is where it's like you're feasting you're abundant chariot energy that's that fast forward momentum energy eight of pentacles that's a card of like going back to school it's like furthering your knowledge developing right it's known as a card of like upranking right and so this is what's coming towards you right very quickly with that cherry energy you just have to continue putting in the work you know think about that cherry energy where it's like a train where it's like the more coal that you put in the faster it's going to be chugga chugging right to darling so continue putting in the coal continue Continue doing whatever it is that I was saying from the very beginning here, Sagittarius, when I tapped into your energy and I was like, oh, y'all are planning something here because these three extra cars I said I wasn't going to be pulling, but I did anyways. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, by definition, Sagittarius, represents... Um, fast, like a bunch of events happening unexpectedly for you, right? hanged man with the fool energy hanged man comes in the sense of like committing to an action that you don't know how it's going to pan out until the end of it and then you see the sun behind the hanged man some people see it as like a halo but i see this as the sun currently here we're in the sun is the best card in the tarot deck representing abundance and all of that so it's that sense for you sagittarius where it's like a lot of unexpected events happening for you it's hanged man you're changing your approach you're changing how you're seeing like how you see things how you do things who you connect with how you connect with things these new these events that are happening are helping you transition to this new version of yourself sagittarius which then gives you that full energy all right perfect way to end this tar the tarot portion of this right that full energy is associated with the number zero right representing a whole new storyline for you do you see how this is all adding up sagittarius as i said again uh, earlier darling you're gonna have to watch this reading back more than one time I guarantee you because this is the type of reading where it's like there's so much to unpack with this like I and then in some ways I'm kind of rushing this reading as well because I don't want it to be too long for y'all because I know most probably don't care but it's like this is like this is like some beautiful stuff like this is the kind of stuff that I would love to unpack in like a private reading because it's just like uh, the energy is like we're really connected all right we have the emu card what was i saying earlier sagittarius all right emu card with that eight of wands from earlier this is a time to go on a new adventure new adventures are coming in for you and you need to be prepared for it you need to be prepared for it things are happening <clears throat> you are a lot tougher than you think you are i think i'm just preaching to the choir right now i feel like you understand why this card comes in like i feel like not why this card comes in it's like you understand like that's who you are like you already like you already went through like the blood sweat and tears and that's how you learned how much tougher than you actually like how much tougher 
you are than you were aware of at one point in time. Letting go of your fears and know that you're protected and safe at all times. All right, Sagittarius. So the story writes itself here. Continue moving forward. This Knight of Cups spirit is going to be catching up to you when the time comes appropriately. Just be that queen of wands and continue moving forward. All right, darling, let's get your mantra for today. <clears throat> all right sagittarius be sure if you did enjoy this reading let me know in the comments below how it resonated and give this video a like and subscribe all right because it does help me out a lot your final mantra card i choose love no matter what i choose love no matter what and so taking away the corniness aspect of this um sagittarius i choose love no matter what but choosing love is more i had this talk with leo as well for theirs it's like choosing love is sometimes you being that queen of wands and choosing what you personally want to do taking action on that all right and understand the actions and the blessings that are going to be coming towards you in the coming days Sagittarius don't feel guilty about receiving certain blessings don't feel guilty about having to set up certain boundaries because you know no have an understanding that you are always coming from a place of love and so don't gaslight yourself into thinking that you're a worse person than you actually are just because certain actions that you're doing are is not pleasing everybody to the uh, highest degree so that's what I have for you Sagittarius hopefully this resonated I love you so much darling and Hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Don't forget my monthly pick a card reading, by the way, in the top right hand corner. All right. Bye, Saji.